So we're in transition time. Um, the world that we've known before has ceased and there is a new world ahead of us. Our lives have been interrupted and this is a good time for um, easing out of old habits and beginning to adapt to a different way of life. We cannot go back to what was before if we believe that the transitioning that's happening now is relating to a much greater, greater world global transition, which is the ultimate transition. So this is a good a time that we can season our way into Mashiach kind of living. Now it's the month of Iyar now, and Iyar is the month of health. Iyar stands for Ani Hashem Reifecha. What's unique about Hashem's healing is that we don't get sick to begin with. As the Pasuk says, Kol I'm not going to allow you to get sick to begin with. So regarding the days of Mashiach, when Rambam speaks about in Hilchus Malachim, about how it's going to be like when Mashiach comes, how there's going to be an, elim- an elimination of all negativity, it's interesting to note that the Rambam does not mention that there will not be any illness. And obviously that just stands right out. If we're going to eliminate all negativity, of course there has to be an elimination of illness. Contrast that with elsewhere in Hilchus Tshuva, when the Ramam speaks about the times when Jews are doing what God wants, Hashem will eliminate all the negative things that disrupts them. So over there, the Rambam does say that Hashem will take away illness. How come in the laws of Mashiach, the Rambam did not mention that illness will be taken away? And the answer is, says the Rebbe, something very, very powerful and profound. What is Moshiach? Moshiach is the time in which the world will finally function completely consistent and in synchronization with Torah's direction. As, the, as a result of, of a few millennium, of thousands of years of applying Torah to the world, the world achieves a certain level of zichuch, of purification, that on its own, already it operates in accordance to the Eberster's instructions to Torah. Now, when one lives according to Torah, they're healthy to begin with. Rambam says in the laws, Hilchas Deis, that if someone is going to follow his regimen, his diet and style of life that the Rambam says, Rambam says this in Halacha, not in his medical books. He says, Ani Arivloi, I guarantee to this individual and he will never get sick all of his life. Obviously, when Mashiach comes and we don't have any Yetzirah anymore, we will be naturally living a, in a healthy way. We will follow what Torah says about all, all matters of life, healthy exercising, healthy eating habits, and therefore we will not get sick to begin with. Therefore, the Torah does not say that the Hashem will, re- that's why the Rambam doesn't say that Hashem will remove the illness because no one will be ill to begin with. When we're talking about famine that will be eliminated, that's not up to us. That's related to Hashem doing something in the world. But not being sick is a direct consequence of all of us functioning perfectly according to what Torah says. So now when we find ourselves in this transitioning state, if you feel like you're stuck in your house, so quite on the contrary, we will eat more. We will, you know, because we're, 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 we're feeling so uncomfortable so we're reaching for food all day long and so on and so forth. But if our mindset is, this is not a disruption of life, this is a introduction to the new world. So start living the way we will live in the days of Mashiach. So, which includes eating healthy. Mm-hmm.